Yum! Cardboard. Hey everyone. During this past winter, I looked at the storage room in my basement and I realized the space was being wasted horribly. It was a total mess and I knew I could use it as a potential green screen slash video production room to up my YouTube game. I spent a month on and off cleaning it out and I decided to paint all the walls green. I will eventually paint the floor epoxy blue. I'm hoping to use this whole room as a fun holodeck of endless possibilities. I'm brand new when it comes to doing green screens. I have much to learn. I researched different shades of green to use and the different retail websites didn't make it easy at all. Even with the RGB values of quote unquote true green screen I read online, every retailer has completely different names and color values for what is practically the same colors. But I eventually found what I think is the perfect shade of green after reading some Reddit and painting blog posts. From my local Home Depot, I picked up a latex flat green called Sparkling Apple. Here's the label. So please pause the video here if you want the information that's listed on the label. It cost me around $35 Canadian, and that one can was more than enough to cover a 9 by 12 foot room with two coats. Okay guys, so the room is painted and the best thing to do is to show you what green screen would look like uh, once I get things going. I do have a green screen kit that my wife got for me for my birthday, plus I have some extra lights to use, so I'm gonna play with the lighting. And as you can hear with the sound here, that um, there's an echo because of the hard concrete walls. So that's also something that I have to play around with. So sound sounds a lot better in the room when I start making videos. But let's get to it. Let's actually try the green screen and see how it works with the sparkling apple. Okay, so this is gonna be the first inaugural test of the green screen. I have not set up all the lights. I still have to go through the kit and how to angle the lights because I know that is the true key to success in doing green screen from what I've seen in other people's tutorials. It's all about lighting and canceling out shadows and where you position your light. So I'm still gonna play around with that, but I just wanted this to be an inaugural test just to show how the sparkling apple looks. And I really hope it looks okay. And, but I'm just glad that I have a whole room in order to play around with. And once I get the floor the way I want it to look and really work on the sound, I, you know, I, I'm planning to really come out with some crazy videos just to have fun. But I hope this is helpful for some of you guys out there that if you want to make a room or even just one wall green screen, uh, as long as you have the lighting and the right type of paint, you can do it. So thank you for watching and I'm looking forward to sharing my future videos once the green screen room is ready to go fully. Take care guys, all the best.